Now, I'm not saying these are the best scrambled eggs in the world, but they're pretty damn close. Hey, it's Eric with Paper Plate Food, and today we are making some cheesy scrambled eggs. Now, I'm pretty famous for these scrambled eggs around the house. Anybody that stays over the house, sleeps over the next morning, they're always asking for these scrambled eggs. I've made this about a billion times, so I'm pretty uh, good at it. Now, there's only one ingredient that I add that makes these kind of extra special, and it is onion powder. Just a dash will do. Nothing crazy because it is very strong. Salt and pepper to taste, and whisk it together. Now, I like to get my whisk on. Make sure the uh, eggs are thoroughly whisk together and once you're done with that I'm going to break up my cheese I'm using uh, yellow American cheese you use whatever you want if it's already shredded even better it'll melt a little easier uh, after you got that done throw about a tablespoon of butter onto a medium hot pan uh, cannot be low cannot be too hot you don't want these eggs cooking too fast. Um, there's two trains of thought here. You can either cook them really slow where they're kind of runny and, and gooey and, and very soft, or you cook them quick where it's a little bit of a harder scramble, quick cook. I like something right in the middle. So the eggs are cooking for about 30 seconds and I grab a wooden spatula and once I notice at the bottom of the pan the eggs are cooked, I scrape it. And I let some of the egg that is not cooked get to the, uh, to the hot pan. Now, this, is, this goes by fast, so you have to be kind of quick. Now is when you're going to add your, uh, your cheese. And like I said, um, you, want, you can pick whatever cheese you want. Um, and like I said, even sh uh, shredded is even better. Now you don't want to add the cheese in too early into the to the scramble because you don't want it to disintegrate into the uh, to the eggs. At the um, when it's time to eat, I kind of want to have a little bit. I want to be able to see the cheese in the eggs. So now I'm kind of I'm going to start folding the eggs on top of each other and making sure all the cheese is melted through and it's incorporated uh, all throughout the eggs scraping all the goodness off the sides. Now you definitely don't want to overcook your eggs. You want these things to be light, fluffy, and most of all, cheesy. Now once you're done, I could kind of see them standing on their own and now it's, I feel like they're done. To finish off the eggs, you could add some fresh chives. I didn't have any but um, I used some dry chives. And boy, were these eggs good. I took way, I took too much of a big bite and almost choked. Well, I hope you uh, really liked this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Hit the bell icon to, uh, well, you know the drill. Hit the bell icon. You'll get alerted when I upload a new video. I'll be uploading new videos every week.